I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me, allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise, a new timeline, a new chance. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands, nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Bad dream? Ugh. How long was I out? I... I don't even remember falling asleep. Fifteen... twenty minutes? <sighs> Seems like it was a pretty intense dream. Wait... What happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it, didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. So all of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So they say. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well. First rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponent. And I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? What are you waiting for? <laughs> oh, now this is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? You all can see cash, but not like 
This kind of gash. Sounds like you didn't scout your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills, if I were you. <laughs> but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Okay. Then tell me everything you know about Augustine. Augustine Lieber, elite collector of obscure cultural artifacts. She pretends to be all business, but plays the long game with the cards close to the vest. She's hard to pin down. And? Ever since I arrived, I've kept my eye on things. Observations, behavior, decor. I've been building a profile. Which is? Lieber is no ordinary collector. She likes dark stuff. The really dark stuff. She'll stop at nothing to get it. Very impressive. Okay. Now it's your turn. My turn for what? Told you what I know, and now you go. I think you pretty much covered it. Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. Let's keep looking around. Can't deny this place would make an incredible film location. I love your outfit, by the way. Well, thanks. It's Italian. Well, the shoes are Italian. And a belt. I got a cheek from a guy. He's got a guy who's got a pants guy. So I got these pants from his guy's guy. Had him huh. just right by the other guy. Now that was a curious sound. Blazer, which is like a super limited VIP club edition. <laughs> but you want to know a secret? Sure. I found a turtleneck in a secondhand shop. Scandalous. Right? <laughs> Don't tell me. Oh, you can be sure of that. It's like every room in the house. Yeah, I'd say this goes a little beyond your typical security. What do you mean? I get the sense our host just has a lot of valuable property and likes to be keenly aware of everyone's comings and goings. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both or 
Was it Barney Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime, I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Maddie, that's... It's quite sad. Very... touching. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now, that is a very good question. Mm. And an expensive one, too. Mm. What's your price? You know what? I'm gonna have to get back to you on that. Cool statue. Hmm, missing a piece, though. Wow. Powerful resemblance in Augustine's family. That or Augustine loves cosplay. Quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. I should check on Maddie. Can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past. Looks like it opens with a key. Yeah? Now what would you do if it was you here instead of me? No way. You'd be climbing the walls looking for a way out. Who's Dan? Psh, not in a million years. No way. Augustine has a, uh, unique collection. I've never seen anything like this stuff. I'm not getting through that. You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so 
like empty since she died. Like I'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and I just can't seem to wake up. It never gets easier when you lose someone. But it does become less suffocating. I hope so, because sometimes I just feel like I'm going crazy. Like she really is out there guiding me, trying to tell me something. That's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do, and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like Mom. Any good stories? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids, making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night... We were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. And right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. The only thing that mattered was that moment. Nothing else. That was your mom. Thank you. Hey, hey guys. Look. What? I don't see anything. Ah! There! Right there! Oh my god, there's someone out there! If someone else did find out this deal is going down, they might be after the film strips. A healthy competition does make for better offers. My guess is that if they're all dressed in black and prowling around the place like a thief, they're not here to make an offer. Maybe they just want to make a dramatic entrance. Should we tell Augustine? They might be dangerous. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay.
taking them so long? I thought we were gonna have a production meeting before we shoot. The van's already all loaded up. I read an article that said girls don't like it when guys get all twisted up about their punctuality. You find it controlling. What? Why did you need an article to tell you that? I just thought you might find that information useful. I'm not trying to control Chris. Just got a lot to do. Uh huh. Time to get cooking. What? Nothing, nothing. Just try to keep a low profile. Bonnie snooping around. All right. Is everybody ready to get this production meeting started? We got a big night ahead of us. Guys, I, I gotta tell you, my mind's going like a million miles an hour right now. Did you know you can get, like, every newspaper article ever written at the library? It's insane! It's all right there! No, tell me more. I've spent, like, all day looking up every single thing I could find about Frank Stone, the mill, the murders. We are sitting on a freaking gold mine here. Sounds like a productive day. I can't take all the credit. I had a little help from my, uh, <sighs> assistant. It was nothing. Hey, modesty free zone. I think I would have given up about eight dozen times if this guy hadn't been there to cheer me on. Just doing my job. <laughs> oh, that reminds me. Now that you are an official member of the team, gotta wear the team jersey. <laughs> wow. This is, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm, I'm honored. You wanna wear the stripes? You gotta earn the rights. I promise I'll be the best ancillary producer you've ever seen. <laughs> Production assistant. Yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> Feast your eyes. Whoa. Wait, where's Sheriff Cream? Ah, uh, yeah, so Dad's never exactly been stoked about that. But I thought he got the guy. Yeah, and Sheriff Kushik took all the credit. People around here knew what was up, but... Let me see that. This one's a 10-year retrospective. They go into all sorts of grisly details left out of the press the first time around. And Dad got a little more credit, too. This is big deal stuff. We're making our movie in the very same spot it went down. Can't beat that. Guess not. It's definitely not something you see every day. That's what I'm counting on. Wait, so shouldn't we head out? Yes, right. So slight change of plans. What? When Robert and I dug into all these articles, we realized there might be an opportunity to find some places in the mill that could be even more directly connected to stone, where we can shoot. So it'll just take us a few minutes to look through. That's not going to leave us a lot of time. Trust me, it'll be worth it. Especially if this is our only chance to go back to the mill. Here. Why don't you start with these? So we're looking for Frank Stone references. We're looking for anything referencing specific locations. I can't believe in the Mom's finally getting out. With Frank Stone. The mill's a pretty wait. huge place. That's why I'm sure there's got to be something we haven't found yet. Definitely possible. We'll find it. Here, look at this. Mill projections dire for fall season. It mentions Frank? No, but it goes into the mindset of the workers. 
People were depressed. There were suicides. At the mill? Not at the mill, but like people who worked there or got laid off. Damn. An omniverse? A year or two before Far the out. Started. Does not sound like a fun place to spend a 12 hour shift. There are a couple articles like this. The mill was in serious. But if it doesn't mention Frank. I don't know. It's all related to him, uh, to the way he was, or, or why he did what he did, or something. That's your expert opinion? It's just a hunch. I pulled some of these today, too. What's that? Obituaries from around the time of the murders and the little before. Oh, good thinking. Journalists sure can't get enough of Frank Stone. I'm sure no one was sad to see it go. I wonder if Linda's okay with all this Frank Stone stuff. anything like that night before or since and don't reckon I ever will again <laughs> heck I don't know if I would have even made it out alive if it weren't for Sam Green man's a hero damn shame that no good sheriff's taking all the credit damn crying shame he all but gave up on finding stone at the mill Sam Green ain't it better he came right up and told me we had to search every nook and cranny of that place. And if we had waited just a second longer, well, there'd be one less beautiful baby in the world. Or worse. Sam took Stone down just in the nick of time. Like something out of a movie. Thanks to Mr. Holt, Nobody questioned my dad's story. Wow. They were friends after that. My dad gave the eulogy when Mr. the whole past. I didn't want to say anything, but I'm just not a fan of... Hmm. Understandable. Her whole obsession with Frank Stone and the murders just feels a little intense. Maybe it's because she's not from Cedar Hills, but you know, those victims could have been any of us or our families. But they weren't. Well, so you don't think it matters either? I didn't say it didn't matter. I just meant it happened a long time ago. And Chris is excited because some of the locations could work really well for the film, like this one. Take a look. What is all this? I came up with a new scene to shoot. Is she wrote? Yeah. Does Chris? 
I told Chris about it last night. Oh, she was into it? Yeah, we'll shoot it if we have time. Cool. This furnished chamber location is perfect, but I wouldn't have known about it without Chris's research. It's pretty rad. I hope we have time to shoot it. It's very supportive of you. Thanks, Robert. I mean, Jaime, sorry. Forgot which one of you is the supportive one. That was mean. You're mean. Yes. Yes, I am. Oh! Yes! Huh? What is... It's a picture of Frank Stone? Look at the date. Yeah. Oh, yeah! What? This is from before the murders, before they realized it was Frank. It's about mill operations, kind of a puff piece to drum up interest in new recruits. Hello, what is this? Look at the caption. Worker Frank Stone, machine shop. Bullseye. Machine shop, huh? We've got to shoot there. That's it. That's the place. It's perfect. So, time to go? Okay, people, company move. Time to head on out and shoot the shit out of this thing. Let's go, let's go. Time is money. Let's make a movie. Hmm. Now, what were you little ding-dongs working on? Hello. Interesting. Ladies and gentlemen, I present the myth. Yep, there it is. Oh, you see the creek down there? We follow that, takes us right to the secret entrance. I don't see it. That's why it's secret. <sighs> we don't have to do this. Yes, we do. Ready? Careful. First step's a doozy. All right. This way. We're gonna see the place where Frank Stone actually killed people. Freaking wild. Okay, two ways into the stone drain from here. One easy and one hard? They're both medium difficulty. Then give us medium one first. Well, medium one is to climb the gate over there. Then it's like a straight shot right in, but it'll take us pretty close to my dad's patrol route. And medium two? Medium two is we cross to the other side, where we're a lot further away from my dad, but it's also gonna take a bit longer. Those are both very medium. Right down the middle. So, which way? I'd rather keep a little distance between us and the law, no offense. Hey. I don't want to get in any trouble either. So, we should cross. Yeah. Your dad really patrols the mill every single night? Ever since I can remember. Huh. I used to think it was weird, but 
It's just kind of his thing. Growing up, nothing killed a friendly conversation quicker than someone calling my dad the hero of Cedar Hills. I remember he didn't want to be interviewed for that profile they ran for the 10th anniversary. Had a cool title, though. What was the title? The Man Who Drew Blood from a Stone. Damn. I mean, it could make a good title for the other movie. Uh, other movie? We were just batting some ideas around, just spitballing. Cool. Maybe we should stick to finishing one movie at a time. Totally, yeah. Chris Gordon, another victim claimed by Frank Stone. And grab her. Made it. This place is awesome. I wonder what we'll find inside. Are you absolutely sure this is safe and we're not gonna fall into some kind of ventilation shaft full of whirling fan blades? I can't promise you won't, but at least you'll be able to see them as they tear you to pieces. <laughs> uh, thanks. Brought one for everyone? Yep. What you got in there? Ah, well, the flashlights, uh, 
my notebook, some pens, a couple of granola bars, three ponchos, first aid kit, bottle opener, sunscreen, collapsible cookware, and utensils. <laughs> you know we're not hiking the Appalachian Trail, right? Always be prepared. We must be under the mill by now. Just gotta find a way up. Haven't you ever talked to your dad about that night? What night? The night he was here with Frank Stone? <sighs> there was one time when I was little and he was really drunk. Even though he doesn't remember, I kinda like knowing what he went through. I get that. He didn't talk to me like a little. Who would have left this here? I'm not sure about Linda's new scene, but if I pull the director card, she'll probably never talk to me again. Better get back to Robert. Okay, so he didn't talk to me like a little kid or like my dad. I got to see him the way he really is. He showed me all his scars. You know, he fucked up his shoulder that night real bad. Still can't use it like he used to. Probably never will. Damn, I didn't know it was so intense. He told me he and Frank Stone squared off face to face, right here in the mill. The furnace chamber, actually. Oh, shit. What else did he tell you? 
just that he saw things no man should ever see or know. What does that mean? Every time I've ever brought it up, gets that look in his eye. And I just don't want to see him like that. Hmm. You sound disappointed. No. No. But I'm glad you've got such a good relationship with your dad. Me too. No way. Is this... Wow. I think that could actually be my dad's. Yeah. I thought police officers had to guard those things for their lives. I'm sure he did. Then again, I can see why he left it behind. Gotta love a scenic route. Any major plans for after we graduate? Uh, I haven't given it much thought. Not like you. What makes you think I have? I can just tell. The film, the directing, it's in your blood. And your blood? You wanna be a... I just... Oh, right. And your blood? You want to be a cop like your dad? No way. I like movies too. That's kind of why I wanted to help out. Horror movies especially. Oh. I thought you just liked hanging out around haunted mills. You don't really think it's haunted. Don't I? Knock it off.
I think this is it. Up there. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, yes! Robert, you're a genius. Good call on that storm drain. Thank you, Robert. Come on, people! No more standing around flapping our yap sacks. One more scene and we're done. How is that for you? I think we got it. You know what that means, right? And that's a picture wrap on Murderville! Way to go, everybody! Uh, I think we still have one more scene left to go before we're officially wrapped. Wait, what's the last scene? Ah, uh, right, yeah. Linda pitched shooting a scene that would flesh out our backstories. Adding a little flesh, huh? Yeah, I think we could work with that. But you're playing brother and sister. Come on, with our chemistry? Nobody's gonna buy that. Where were you thinking we'd shoot the new scene? I do have a place in mind, actually. Oh, yeah. That's the furnace chamber, right? What do you guys think? I say we do it. Sounds good. <clears throat> huh? Yo. You coming? Uh, yeah. Be right there. Did you see something? No, that was nothing. You sure? You seem kind of spooked. What's up? Nothing. Nothing, right. Except Jaime saw a ghost back there. Okay, I'm not five. I don't believe in ghosts. You will. Ah, get off me! Get off me! Ah, get off! Get off! Gotcha. Not cool, Bonnie! Disagree. Not cool! <laughs> what are you doing here? I'm part of the crew. We don't need any help. Then I'll just hang out and stay out of your way. This is a closed set. <laughs> Apparently not. I may. Uh, um, Bonnie, I, I really think you should be helping Dad at home right now. You've got a lot on your plate, you know? A and, uh... And that's all I'm good for? Uh, uh, no, no, no. I mean, that, uh... <clears throat> Linda? Whatever. I don't care if she tags along. Okay, cool. I'll be totally invisible. Just act like I'm not even here. Actually, scratch that. Act like I am here, but like invisible, but you still know I'm here, and you're not gonna get up to any funny business, cause that's just gross, okay? Don't, don't do it. Well, okay, are we just gonna stand around, or are we gonna make a movie? Time is money, right? Just make sure you don't get in the way. We've still got a lot to do, and I don't work well with distractions on my set. I think you mean our set. <laughs> 